<laughs> you know if you want to start out with that laugh, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. TSM, yeah. Woo. What you watch? RX Nails. Who be pop? RX Nails. What you watch? RX Nails. What they judge? RX Nails. Hi, my cute, 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 cuticle cuties. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And I'm off today. And in today's video, well, you'll see. Come spend the day with me. I have a few dishes I have to wash. I like to put bleach in my water, so I'm going to let these soak for just a few minutes while I start the laundry. I only have one load of color clothes, thank God, because I really don't feel like doing laundry, so I'm going to get these started. While I'm cleaning, I am watching one of my favorite things, and it's the Louisiana Board of Pardon and Parole, and it's live. Um, I haven't got the actual schedule down packed when it's live, but today is Monday, and you know, Mondays are my off days, and I was able to catch it. Uh, I think last week too, so I'm, I'm thinking on Mondays for sure. So it's just different cases. And today she is not actually in jail, this person right here. But um, most of the time it's people that's in prisons and um, parish jails that's trying to get parole and stuff like that. So this is on YouTube and it's live. If you don't catch it, they don't leave the videos up. So you have to catch people that actually react to the, um, the actual videos and they repost it. Uh, person to person or should I say offender to offender but other than that it's ran like for several hours like seven hours like the whole day and it's jumped from facility to facility on zoom I am very interested in all these cases and some cases are horrific but it's each individual story and it has happened unfortunately so this is what I'm doing. I got my earbuds in while I do my cleaning and I'm listening to that. And if they say something when I'm not a, when I'm not by my phone, if they say something, I have to run and come look at it because I be wanting to see their reaction. Because, I mean, the stories are something else. But if you guys are interested in that, this is something to check out. I do have an associate's degree in criminal justice. So that's probably why my passion, well, I shouldn't say passion, that's where my interests probably come from. I gotta clean out my microwave, y'all. It's really not that bad, but it's just me and my husband and it does get a little dirty. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean that out. Remove that. Oh, I also got my coffee pot soaking. I like to do a weekly like soak of the coffee pot. All right. My husband is working. So right now what I'm about to do is I'm going to go ahead and pack his lunch for tomorrow. I'm going to get that out the way so I can have that already done. And we have leftovers, rice, white beans, and beef roast with gravy. So I'm going to go ahead and pack it up in a container and that way it'll be already fixed. This is my husband's lunch, beef roast, white beans, and rice. And y'all, it's cold, so that's why the gravy look like that, so don't come for me. I'm going to top that up. I like to surprise my husband with treats, so I'm putting in a protein chewy bar. This is one of my favorites. And my husband always put his lunch in his lunch bag, but he don't carry it too good. So for security, this is what I do. I put it in the bag and I tie it in the night because if anything spill out, at least it'll just be in the bag and not all over his lunch bag. And then my husband knew to find his lunch right here. He can always find his lunch right on top of the egg. So he just grab and go. No, I do not fix his lunch all the time because sometimes I'm still working when he get off and he take care of his lunch himself. But for the most part, I do fix his lunch. And if he fixes his lunch and I have a treat for him, I put it in his work bag and he find it at lunchtime. And he always send me a picture mail and say, thank you, you're the greatest. I just had a few dishes as you can see in my microwave stuff so I'm gonna let that dry ain't nobody got time to be drying no dishes after that dry I'll pick them up probably when I come back home now that I got that out the way once a month I go out to a retirement home to my local retirement home 
and service the ladies and gentlemen there with whatever service they may need. Uh, manicure or toenails, clippings or toenail polishing, not a full pedicure. And I've been doing that now. This is month like 14. So I'm getting all my stuff together. And I have like just supplies that I use and I'm just refilling everything. I have my gloves. I have napkins. I'm going to put a new um, napkin in. And I have my plastic gloves when I'm dealing with certain acetone so it doesn't melt. But I have my little disposable gloves that I wear in between people. And um, the little fan that I really don't use much because I like to use this fan. And I only use regular polish. It's only one person that likes gel polish. So I use gel polish for her. Um, but nevertheless, I have all my little stuff in this bag. And like my um, cotton swabs and all that. I'm going to go ahead and refill that now. So on tomorrow morning, I don't have that to do. I can uh, do what I got to do and get out the door. So um, yeah, I'm prepping all that. And this is all my travel polish. This is the polish that I bring. So they have several different colors to choose from. And this is my travel bag that I use. And once it's zipped up and everything, I just use the handle. And there's wheels and it rolls. So yeah, I'm going to do that right now. I am finished all of my housework. I end up picking up the dishes and I dried, fold, and put away the one load of laundry that I had. So now I am about to hop in a car and get started with my day. It's um 1140. So hey, it took me all morning to do my work. So that way when I come home, I don't have all that to do. And I don't know how tired I'm gonna be because I don't know how long I'm up. Mm. Shopping time. As you guys can see, I am in the car, but maybe I am still looking at the Louisiana Parole Board hearings. I enjoy watching them. Maybe the word enjoy is not a better word, but I, I, I really do like to watch them. My first stop is the bank. Y'all, it look like it's about to ring, and I don't have an umbrella. Actually, I do have an umbrella, but I took it out of my car for something, and of course, I forgot to put it back in my car. I'm going to go in Ross and y'all it's drizzling in the rain already so I might be stuck here until the rain stops since I don't have an umbrella or I'm going to have to buy a new umbrella. These cute. And look at these. People still wearing gifts? I'll wrap them. I wear size 11. I know I got a big fit. They must have got a gift shipping. That's three different gifts. That's a pair of gifts. That's a pair of gifts. That's a pair of gifts. I really like these MK purses. But Ross, I could go to the store and purchase this. I'm going to need y'all to have these purses. It's so sad and cheap. Though. It's cheap though. I mean, I like this one too. 149. I mean, that's kind of like my current purse. I'm not even going to really look at these purses because it's black and I have enough black purses. So I don't even want to see nothing that I like. So I'm just going to leave off this out. I found four pieces I'm about to try on. They are reasonably priced and I'm excited. So I hope they fit. This is too, this is too funny. It's the furthest these shorts went. Like what? Out of the four pieces that I had, I like two and the other two I'm not gonna get. I really like this romper thing, but it was too tight around this area, so I'm gonna pass. But I could have dressed it up really, really, really cute. And then these shorts, um, they didn't go up the thighs at all. So, I'm not getting these two, but the two pieces that I am getting, hmm, I'm loving. It's raining, but let's go see what Marsha's got. I had to run in the store, like walk pretty fast because it was raining. But um, look at these. They're pretty cute, but I'm trying to stray away from browns. I got a lot of brown shoes, but I think they're cute. $20. They cute. I mean, what is this? 
it's a no for me. Yes. Yes. These cute if you're going to like a special event and you need a fancy purse. I mean, they're cute. Twenty. Okay, good. Twenty-four ninety-nine. But I ain't feeling these purses, so it's a no for me. A hard no. Y'all know I like glasses. Let me see if I can find me a cute, cute pair. Oh, mm, these cute. $9.99. Mm. Find me a cute, cute pair for about $5. These cute. What's this? $9.99. Okay. Looking for a cute prize mate gift? $6.99. I'm in Marshall's dressing room and I think that this is pretty neat. This is like if you definitely want to get it, you hang it there. I only have one piece to try on, so that's my number one. This is tomorrow. It's possibly. So I like how to give you the options. And y'all, the one item that I tried on, I'm buying because I like the way it fits. It's a pair of shorts. All right, guys, I had to purchase an umbrella just to be safe because I'm not ready to go home. And the clouds are, um, yeah, not looking too favorable. Anyway, I purchased this umbrella and a pair of shorts from Marshalls, and I'm pretty excited about my findings. I am going to get lunch from Big Al's. I already know what I want. This is how it looks. This is a brief of the menu and some of the items that they offer. And guess what, y'all? I am still watching the Louisiana Parole Board. I ordered a dozen of chalkboard oysters. And look at the sizzle, baby. Yes. These things are my absolute favorite. Squeeze a little lemon on it. They be delicious. And this is how I eat mine. I put a little piece on bread. And voila. Bon appetit. Y'all, I got full. I had one, two, three, four left over and some bread. So I asked for a to-go box. And that's how I stacked all the ones that I ate. And this is my take home plate. I cannot wait to bust it up. Let's go see what the dollar twenty five tree has. And these are my finds. Y'all ever tried this water before? I saw this and I said, let me give it a try. I mean, for six small bottles for a dollar twenty five wasn't bad. That's the lemon flavor. And the other flavor that they had to offer was the um berry blast or something like that yeah i think i'm gonna like it it's flavored water wasn't bad for a dollar 25 and then all this other stuff i'm excited about these that i bought for my grandson he is two years old going on three so i think he will like these okay guys i am almost home and as you can see the clouds are still dark I hope the weather holds up because my grandson has a game at 5. It is 3.30 right now. I'm going to go home and pick up all of the things that um, I purchased. And my husband's going to get off from work and we're going to head to the game if it's not canceled. We are on our way to our grandson baseball game. It raining and I can't sit in the car. I'm gonna go back out when the rain stops. My husband is still out there, and the game has.
hadn't actually started yet, but it's about to start. He did not win, but he's a winner in our eyes, right? Yeah, my grandson a winner. We return home to wind down for the evening. We're going to start off by watching our favorite show, Jeopardy. Every evening we like to watch that together. Sometimes I'm still working, so he got to watch it by himself. And then um, Wheel of Fortune comes on after that. This is just about the end of this video, so we're going to get ready for um, supper, take our okay, shower, you guys, and yeah. I got to spend the day with me on my off day and see what all I was up to. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to give this video a like. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. That's all I have for you guys today. See you in my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.